SNES Jack. When Kid Icarus came out for the NES in the mid-80s, it seemed to fit in right alongside Mario and Zelda as not only one of the biggest games of its time, but as the start of a successful franchise. Only for whatever reason that never happened, and the only sequel we got for many, many years was Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters for Game Boy. In this game, a demon named Orcos has invaded Angel Land. Wait, really? The best name they can come up with was Angel Land? Ugh. Anyway, Pit returns from the original NES game to defend the Land of Angels and use its three sacred treasures to defeat the demon the wings of Pegasus, the silver armor, and the light arrows. The game plays, looks, feels, and sounds exactly like how you'd expect a Kid Icarus Game Boy game to be. There is barely anything new here. You shoot with a bow, you have unlimited arrows, you jump around and find items and smash stuff and get health upgrades, and you get the idea. You explore the overworld, the sky world tower, and the underworld tower. There's chambers to explore, there's tests of endurance, sound familiar? Bear in mind, this isn't really that much of a bad thing. The original Kid Icarus games are classics for a reason, and the controls are as good as you could hope for. As you can see, this game scrolls from side to side, and the original famously did not, but you do loop around in a couple levels, however, but the game isn't limited to that like the original was. Also, you don't mysteriously die when you fall to where the screen cuts off. The screen just keeps going when you land, wow, imagine that. Obviously, these improvements make the game much more forgiving, and as a result, Of Myths and Monsters is significantly easier than the NES original. In addition, you're given the functionality of using your wings to slow your descent, kind of like floating with Mario's cape in Super Mario World. That's pretty minor, though. That about sums it up, really. This is a game that merely fixed what was wrong with the original Kid Icarus. There's no big changes or new ideas with the gameplay. In fact, it makes me wonder if that's why Nintendo never made another Kid Icarus game until Kid Icarus Uprising came out over 20 years later. Maybe they just couldn't think of anything new with this style of game. Now, I do want to stress that if you like the original NES game, you will like Of Myths and Monsters because of the directional scrolling that kind of fixes the difficulty a little bit. So if you liked the original, you would really enjoy this game, even if you're not keen on original Game Boy titles. It's the same, but with less irritating problems. Even better, Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters is available on the 3DS Virtual Console for just a few bucks. If you prefer the cartridge, it's about $15 on eBay, so while I would have preferred that Kid Icarus got a Super Nintendo sequel, the Game Boy sequel turned out just fine, even if there's really nothing new. And hey, if you want to know who that angel guy from the Super Smash Bros. games is, and what he's doing there, this is a pretty good game to find out what the big deal is. 